Hey guys, good to see you again as always. So we're actually ready to go upstairs and tell Jason that we've helped him with his nightkin problem. But first, I cleaned out some of our inventory, so now we have room to finish looking around down here. Because we didn't completely finish. I didn't look in the room Harlan was in, and I didn't look uh, any extension of down here where the nightkin may have come from. I'm not exactly sure how they went about getting into this building but maybe they came from down here like there might be an exit out the basement or something i don't know i thought it would be interesting to check out before we go and tell jason that he can proceed with his plans you know all of his great plans to go meet the creator or whatnot Ooh, secret staircase well maybe it's not very secret but it is a staircase can't argue with that sound logic. Oh, lots of conductors and stuff down here. I know I will have use for quite a few of these items, but I don't want to... I just cleaned out the inventory. I don't want to fill it up again. So let's just take a couple things here and there that we know for sure we'll use soon. And proceed on. Is this the only door in this room? It is. Open sesame, please. And this looks like a spooky spooky sewer tunnel underground tunnel thing of some kind. I don't see any hostile markers, so it's probably fine that I'm not approaching this very stealthily. I just cannot continue to take everything. Oh, I will take the caps, though. Definitely. They sure do like their smokes around here, don't they? Uh, well, nothing too interesting so far. I bet there's going to be an exit at the end, though. That's my, that's my great prediction, guys. Let's see if there really is a way out somewhere down here. Ooh, looks like we have multiple paths. What about this? It's a little, it's a cute little room with some equipment and a reloading bench should we need it. Very nice. Anything in the footlocker? Some money. I will never turn down money. And a broken generator of some kind. Hiding a footlocker. One cap. Sure. Why not? Anything for one cap? Ooh. Which way do we go, guys? I'm just going to look at it. I'm going to confirm that it's indeed... An exit. I was right. Okay, great. I was right. But there's also one more thing. Another little room. Maybe a broom closet or something. Ooh. Whoa! Okay, no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Is this his plan? This is his plan. Oh, guys. No. <laughs> Well, I guess there's two ways out down here. You can go out or you can go way out into the far beyond. <laughs> That's what they were calling it, right? Oh, hey, intercom. Can I actually use it? Hello? Who's down there? Hi, it's me. What's the deal with the rockets down here? That's none of your business, smooth skin. Okay. Jason was very clear. Get rid of the demons, then report back. He didn't tell you to poke around. Your down voice there. has changed. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Get moving. <laughs> and then it goes back to the intercom sound. That kind of spooked me a little bit. I mean, not really. Like I didn't get actually scared, but I. Are you kidding me? Space helmet, space suit. Oh, they're expensive too. But what do they? What do they do? I think I might rather keep them and sell them because they're they might be unique. Oh, they're so cool. Rad resistance. That's so neat! So, the ghouls are just gonna go into space? They're just legitimately gonna go in- Oh, there's actually three rockets. I only saw the two. But there's actually three. Okay, well, I don't really know what to think about that. I don't really know how that's gonna go for them. I mean, I guess it'll- I guess it'll go fine. I don't- I don't know. I kind of want to hold out hope for them. So 
let's go with the idea that it'll work out great. We can establish a little Mars colony. Can I go down there with the... No, I can't. This looks like a hatch, though. But, uh, apparently we're not cool enough to use it. Which is sad! I kind of want to go down there. Is there any other way to get down there? I don't see that there is. I mean, yeah, it says that's a door to the basement, but it's actually not. Okay, well, at least I checked. Yeah, that intercom was weird, though. He sounded like he was on the intercom, and then he sounded like he was right behind us. <laughs> it reminded me of the, like, teleports behind you meme or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't, like, really scare me. It just kind of was startling that... I wonder why those voice lines didn't have the intercom filter put over them. Because I assumed it's not something that they actually overlay on the audio that's recorded for the characters. I thought maybe it was like a filter that got put in place afterwards, like a sound effect. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, and I don't know a lot about that anyway, so, you know, why am I even wasting your time blabbering? Oh yeah, that's right, because that's the whole point, right? That's why you're here. <laughs> Is because you want to hear nonsense. Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. There's nothing but nonsense all the time. Look at this. I'm just straight navigating our way out of here. This is the exit, right? Watch me say that and brag about my navigation and then this not be... Yes, it is. Okay, good. Maybe I should have tried to go out the in the exit at the... Ooh, I forgot about them. Hopefully they won't see me. If I remember correctly with my excellent navigation skills that I was just bragging on, yes. We can just go up the stairs in this room. And that should be good enough. And we won't have to deal with those guys at all. Mutilated. Ew. Why can you pick this up? Ew, gross. No thanks. Why would anyone want to pick that up? That's... No. Mm -mm. That's a whole bunch of no thank you right there. That's what that is. Steady. Very nice. More drugs we can get addicted to. We haven't been addicted to anything yet. But it might be coming around the corner. Because I am saving up Kims, which means I may actually end up using them. Or selling them. Who knows? Just become the local drug dealer. Hey! Stop messing around with the intercom, <laughs> smooth skin. I'm sorry! Uh, okay, I guess. Stop wasting time. But I like to waste time! Ugh! Well. Whatever, let's go find Jason. Actually, should we talk to Har Harlan? And he is right yes. here. What a coinky day. You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. You're welcome. Really, that's it? Just goodbye? That's the only option? Well, that's not... That's not great. I wanted to become friends, but okay. Bye, Harlan. Later. Later. Wait, are you going to go into space too? They are going into space, right? Okay, we have to make this happen. I suddenly believe in in Jason's dream. Is the way clear? Yeah, the uh yeah, the demons are gone. Praise the creator. Yes. And bless you, wanderer. Oh, thank you. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. The sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Oh heck yeah. You guys still need help? I thought this was going to be the end. I thought all you needed was for the things to be gone. Are you having some technical problems? Also, we can ransack this place up here now because... Oh, it's the human guy. Why is he taking a long way around? Whoa, whoa, you surprised me. Be careful. Watch who you're shoving. Anyway, we can look around up here and loot it now uh, since they're gone. Oh, intercom? No, of course not. He went downstairs, didn't he? The intercom guy. Oh, they put on their little spacesuits. How sweet. Okay, I love this quest. Look at them. I love this quest. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is really happening. Okay. <laughs> it's great. I don't have a lot of, like, really astute observations other than that this is fantastic and I want them to go to space. 
I know, I know. There's going to be some Debbie Downers out there who say, like, ooh, ghouls can't survive in space. No one can survive in space. Why would you want to go to space? Well, you know what? I believe in Jason's dream. I do. I'm suddenly really into this. So who are you? You're Harlan? You did good, smooth skin. <laughs> Never thought I'd get out of that room. I just thought, I just wanted you to have some spacesuit dialogue, but you didn't. Oh, look. It has a little meter thing. Like this little shine. All right, bye. Later. Later. I don't know if there will be a later. You know, if you go to space, don't forget about me. Maybe like wave down at the earth if you see it sometimes. That's a really intense game of kick the can you're doing there, buddy. Not that I'm criticizing. Actually, that was pretty impressive. I'm a big fan of kick the whatever object games as well. Just ask the powder gangers. They're really impressed with how I play with explosives. Wait, so he goes in here? Oh, okay, I get it. So it's a door that's only accessible to them. So they're down there now. I waited to speak no? with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad. Wanda. What do you mean one last time? I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the great journey. Well, good, you better. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Okay, that's what I thought. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. Yeah, because... There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Good. Build me a shrine. That would be super great. I want a shrine on Mars. Make it happen. Are you seriously going to make the great journey with the rockets? Or let's talk about Chris. Chris is the human guy. Mr. Intercom, right? Okay. Well, let's ask about the rockets first. Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Okay. Um, science of 25. Are these surface-to-surface -surface rockets or will they launch you into orbit? Talk about Chris. No, let's ask about the rockets. Yeah, like, are, are, you, are these safe, man? I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. Okay. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Okay, if you say so. Really, that's it? That's all you're willing to tell me about this whole thing? Well, then what about Chris? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. Yeah. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. Uh, it became okay. clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. Well, what's blessed about that? It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your redeemers both. Okay, well, I'm happy to, you know, <laughs> help, I guess, but yeah, you're just going to leave Chris here? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity okay. of the far beyond is much stronger. Wait, what part of space are you going to that's radioactive? That's none of my business. You really pulled the wool over his ass. I mean, yeah, you kind of did. You just lied to him and used him as an engineer, and now you're not going to let him be part of your group. I mean, he was probably just a lonely guy that wanted friends, right? Yeah, I mean, that is kind of despicable, but I'm going to be like, wowee, yeah, you really, you really tricked him, didn't you? I hope you feel good about yourself. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. Oh, sure you don't. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Uh-huh, sure. I'm buying that. Definitely. Okay, well, I guess that's it, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Maybe you should say that to Chris. I'm assuming that's it. So you're going to go through there now, too? Okay. Hi, Jason. Yeah, hey, um, 
Chris. Should I tell him? Look, they got the ferals and everything. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're fixing stuff, probably? Okay. Yeah, now that you mention it, it does look really dangerous down there near the rockets. Well, um... He said he wanted me to get some parts, but he didn't clarify. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. And thus, that question is answered. Okay, so... I know that you're basically the technical expert, but, like, what do you do exactly? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Okay. So the Great Journey is going to use the, the rockets, huh? Or why don't they let you work on the launch pad? Yeah, aren't you a little bit curious about why you're up here and everyone else is down there? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. Of course he did. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. Oh. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Well, Jason's like a master manipulator. Not that I'm surprised. He has like a legitimate cult. His charisma's got to be like 10, so. Uh, well. I could tell him. That the radiation would kill him. But I don't know. I don't know yet if I want to do that. So the Great Journey is going to use the rockets, huh? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. Sure they will. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Okay, well, I... I don't know. What do you need me to actually do to help you? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. Nice. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Well, where are you going to get a custom-built part? Let's, let's ask about the thrust control module first. Like, where are you going to get a part for these specific rockets? All right. Anything else? Where are you going to get it? Yeah, can you give me any tips about my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Okay. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Um, is that it? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay, that might be a good sign for us to go to the scrapyard, maybe. Uh, what... What if I want to help with something else? All right. What would you rather be doing? Um, I'll stick with the current task, or I can switch to igniting agent. Why am I not just doing both of these at once? Why do I have to pick one or the other? I'll just stick with the current thing, whatever. All right. Carry on. And so I shall. I mean, or maybe I need to talk. Wait, hang on. Have you found the components we discussed? No, no, no. Actually, uh, okay. Let's see what he has to say about the igniting agent. I don't, I have, I see no reason why it shouldn't give me both objectives at once. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Okay. And do you have any tips for that? Okay, yeah. See, I've got both of them now. I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. So the same answer as the other one? Okay. Later. Later. Well, I... I don't know. I kind of feel like he's just lonely and wants friends, so he joined a cult. And it's going to be really sad when he gets left behind. 
But maybe he'll be better off down here than he was up there. I want to go out this exit, but I want to take Eddie, so I guess we'll go retrieve him first. I should have retrieved him previously, but I was too excited about the spacesuits, okay? I was too thrilled about the way things were going to remember to pick up Eddie. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that you're not important, it's just that spacesuits are awesome. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So this is Antler, right? You remember that guy? He was like, Antler, Antler, speak, Antler, friend. I don't remember what he said about Antler, but he said stuff about Antler. So, um, that's pretty neat. I kind of wish I could take it with me and have it as a trophy. Like put it somewhere and be like, Antler. Oh, I'm sorry, Antler. I'm trying to put you back on the desk. You know what? This is too difficult. There you go. You're upside down now. Oh, and I picked up a book. It's fine! Antler likes the floor. He wanted to sit there the whole time. He was sad that the Nightkin wouldn't let him sit on the floor. So, we made his dreams come true. Plus one for us. That's one more heroic deed for us <laughs> to have completed. Alright, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, I'm... Sup I'm, uh... I'm assuming that all the ferals are down there now, the way they showed them. You know? Let's see, what's the best way to get to the front? Is it through this way or this way? There's computers, actually. Maybe I should consider reading them. What is this one? Employee terminal. Okay. Public server access. Cake. That's going to be a lie. But anyway, public kitchen. To all Repcon employees from Emily Nimmeyer, Facilities Manager. Hello, everyone. Please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please clean up after yourselves and remember that clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Thanks from Emily. P.S. Please also remember that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening. So date your food icebox. These people be up in here not using refrigerators? That's crazy. Welcome to Rob Co. To all Repcon staff from... Did I read that wrong? No, it does say welcome to Robco. I thought, am I saying Robco when I should be saying Repcon? Sorry. They both have an R and then a P, so I... Anyway, did... <laughs> anyway it doesn't matter. Um, I'm happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Robco. Okay, yeah. Starting tomorrow, we will be an official Robco facility. Most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. That's nice. Thank you for all your time. And welcome again to the Robco family from Steve. Thank you, Steve. Very cool. Cake. To Stacy Johnson, junior engineer from Gordon Pesse, senior engineer. Stacy, are you kidding me? We've been planning Martin's party for months and you forgot to order the cake. There is no way we are going to find someplace to deliver one out here on this kind of notice. Go to the break room and find something for everybody to eat at the party. Gordon. Well, that's kind of interesting. Where's the break room? I want to know if she ever found the... Found the cake. There's still more stuff we can look at in this building. But... I would still very much prefer to go get the other stuff. I mean, I want to see these ghouls go to space. Guys, this is important to me. Why don't I just go out the other exit? I'm going in a circle. Okay. Just take a left and stay straight. Good. Right. 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 Locked. Well, let's open it then. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad I actually followed the map. Way to go, me. Anything going on in the bathrooms? Nothing too much. Some aid items, though. That's always good. I already looked in this one. I think. But that's, our, that's still just 
that's creepy. Creepy stall. And purified water, sure, why not? Okay. It's so sad. There's nobody on the other end of the intercom anymore. Well, Eddie, come on. We have some work to go do. We need to go do things. I think I looted all these as well. Really sure that I did. What about these guys? Did I loot them? Pretty much. Is there anything over here I should be interested in? Weird ambient sounds. Good. Love them. Thanks. Nothing in the footlocker. I don't know why I opened it. Cool. Yep. Observation 100. Perception 100. Alright. And... Look, it's uh, two more antlers. How nice. That Nightkin guy, Davison, he would have left it out here. I think I looted everyone else. It's not like I need to go around playing with bodies too much anyway. What are you? An empty ash pile, and you? Yeah, I looted him. Ooh. I'm glad that didn't hurt me. <laughs> I was about to have regrets. Yeah, another recharger pistol. I noticed that we got those. They seem pretty cool. Might end up using them. I hear like some dog sounds, but I don't see anything. Anyway, let's just go ahead and take a look at the map. So, there might be a junk dealer at the Gibson Scrapyard, which we need to go to for the Eddie My Love quest anyway. Or we can go, this is the ruins he talked about to the east that might have something of use. I guess we'll go to the scrapyard first. It's pretty close. So do I want to switch to the Eddie quest? No. Let's just walk there. I mean, it's not that far and I, I like walking. I legitimately do. I know this little stretch of road in here probably won't have anything new or exciting for us to think about. But it's, you know, it's still cool. I like this kind of thing. Get used to road trips. We're going to be going on lots of them. Can I go this way? Can I go, like, off-road a little bit? This seems like it might be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, it might be a bad idea. I might be better off traveling Novak. I'm not even sure if this goes over these mountains. It doesn't. It doesn't. We're trapped over here, aren't we? If this is a dead end, I will just travel to Novak. Some danger over there. Well, that's good. I mean, it's not good. But it's good that we know about it. Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay, I don't see that working out. So much for that idea. <laughs> you know, it's fine. We'll just pop over to, to Novak and go north. No big deal. No. No, no biggie. It's fine. And here we are. Is he still here? He is. My man, Victor. I just am highly suspect about that, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the idea that he's traveling on the same road as us. How big is this road from here? I mean, we're almost there. We're like two thirds of the way there, but maybe there'll be another little town that we'll stop off and meet him at. Prospector, Settler, Ada, thanks again for helping me and giving me a free tetanus shot. That was so nice of you. You're a nice lady. No Barks Shack. No Barks Shack. This isn't what we're supposed to be doing, but it looked a little interesting. Okay. I don't like that trap. I don't, I don't want that to shoot me. Okay. Hi. Hello. Your house is extremely weird. I especially like your baseball mannequin. Um, very good. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Okay, that's, that's good. Who? What are we talking about? I kind of just want to tell him I don't mean any hard, but no, no, what are you, what do you, what do you mean? Confound it, no bark, you've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. Uh, okay. All right, stranger, you got me. 
What do you want to know? I don't want to know anything. Why do they call you No Bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is got bite. Because it's the truth. Oh, I thought maybe you lost Them your dog. doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. I know what I've seen. What are you saying, aliens? What's going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Oh, Seems really? every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire. Says no way, Lord. no way. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says well. No Bork, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. Oh, yes. That's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. Right. That's great. Do you know anything else about the deaths? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. Oh, yes. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Oh, sounds scary. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Wow. Never seen nothing like it. I hope we find this. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. Nice. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Gosh, don't you just hate that? Whenever one fella is more invisible than the other one. Is there anything else interesting going on around here? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Right. Sensationalist hooey. Oh. Cooked up by superstitious yokels. Yeah. Seeing phantoms of their own imagining. That's it. That's it. Who do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts. Right. But don't know they're dead. That's scary. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lennon face on it. Oh, gee whiz. Stuff of, of nightmares. Disappear. And reappear before my very eyes. Wow. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual. Okay. With the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. Okay, yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to play Caravan with you. If I'm going to learn how to play this game, I cannot think of a better person. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Old No Bark is always looking to play. Not for entertainment, mind you. But because if you look at the cards right, you can know the future. I love you. You're the best. You must have at least 30 cards to play. Oh, is that what the cards are about? Okay. Well, okay. Doesn't have any he can lend me. I'm a solid fan of you. I'm a solid fan of this guy. Clearly, it's the invisible chupacabra, two-headed, with a... Uh, <laughs> Was it semi-automatic or fully automatic weapon? Just an automatic weapon of any kind. Those chupacabras and their automatic weapons, especially when it starts spinning and shooting bullets out of the backpack. That's when you know you're in trouble. Just great stuff. That's fantastic stuff. Is this a? Well, that's that's some good decorating. Um, I like that a lot. Gibson scrapyard. Hello, doggies. Friendly doggies. Basura. Cute. And call Milo. Nice. All right, Eddie. Uh, is this your home? Do you recognize anything, bud? Anything here looking familiar to you? Another dog? Reyna? Cute. I'm not here to... Don't, don't steal things, hun. Try not to steal things. Another dog. Ray. Okay. Old Lady Gibson. I'm sorry to interrupt your sleep. Do I have questions? Hi there. Hi. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. Well, that's nice. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. I haven't paid any attention to that yet. Uh, thank you for the map marker. I really appreciate that. Um, Is there anything... Why do they call you Old Lady Gibson? Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't know. That's a hard puzzle. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. 
I like how you became a crazy dog lady. Your dogs are very cool. What do you know about Helios 1? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Well, that's sad. I like the Brotherhood. I would like it if they could get along. What can you tell me about Repcon? Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. Okay. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. <laughs> a lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon. Even my favorite chair. Well, that's nice. I'm glad you have a favorite chair. That's such an accomplishment these days. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? I mean, you must, since you cleared the place out, right? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. I thought... Wait. But you're going to cut the price to two, to 250 because I'm just that charming, right? Oh, that's cute. Uh, we can't do this one. It's not like anyone will probably buy them. That's true, though. Like, what kind of demand is there going to be for these? I'm probably the only person she's ever seen in her entire old lady life who's wanted to buy this. So can you please cut the price in half, please? <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the <laughs> hell? Two fifty. Yay! Is. We did it! Here you go. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, no prob. Subject E. Ooh. Diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Bruh? Continue? iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. I don't think it made it there. Continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. So now you need to go to Navarro? Is that the deal? Well, why now? Edie appears to have some Enclave log data stored in that is triggered by keywords. So what keyword triggered that? What part of my conversation with old lady Gibson made you decide to read that log to me? All right. Okay. Maybe it's just being here. But uh I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. Very intriguing. I will be happy to learn more about that. But first, we need to look around more dogs. Yell. That's a weird name. Are you the outcast of the group because you have a weird name? What am I doing? I'm bullying dogs. Oh, we're reaching, <laughs> we're reaching new lows. <laughs> it's fine though. Don't worry about it. So actually, can I see the Helios building? Is it that? It's probably that. Let's take a, a quick peek. Yeah, that's it. That's clearly it. Okay. And you? Who are you? Odd, odd as? Oh, you're cute. I mean, you all look the same, so. By that logic, you're all cute, but that one was real cute, so. Extra points for Odd has. Yeah, that's, so that's Helios. So I'll get out of here, I guess. Maybe. Ooh, coyote noises. How nice. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's go back around, because there's no secondary exit. She just has so many dogs. I feel like that would be really difficult to do in, like, a post-apocalyptic time. You know what I mean? If you're struggling to feed yourself and not starve to death, or da ha 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 It just seems like it would be real weird to worry about feeding dogs. No, let me let me get a shot in. I don't know who the bad guy is, but let me get a shot in on him. I need that XP. What is it? Where is it? Oh, it's a mole rat. Got him. And what else? 
Whoa, Dinah, 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 Dinah. Okay. Oh no! Oh. Uh oh. Okay, okay. I have a bad feeling about about this all of a sudden. You know what? I really hate to hit that poor. Oh, I really hate to to hit that poor thing. And Eddie's right over there. But this just seems like it's a good idea. Or I guess we can go with the with the grenade rifle again, sure. Yeah, I know. Okay guys, it's time to die. Sorry, I just can't I just cannot deal with you. Please. Eddie no! Oh, Eddie's okay. Okay. Eddie, 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 I worried about you. Okay, we're not doing this. I'm not gonna have you killing Eddie. Die. Die. I got so worried about him. Are you okay, sweetheart? Can you take a stimmy? Stimmy for the robot? Yes? Okay. I hope that helps. I don't know if that was even necessary. Are y'all just running away? What, because I killed your leader? Uh, no, this one. That's what I want. Seriously, that's it? I killed the guy with the crazy hat and now you don't want to fight me anymore? Come back here, you weenies! Where are they? Oh, you found them. Yeah, look at you. I do like that. Thanks. Wow, you look like Volpu. See, look, he's got the same the same wolf hat and everything. I'm just gonna take absolutely all of your stuff. It's called a Vexillarius. He has a little banner. How nice. And what's on the front of his chest? Some paper plates? That's what it looks like. Well, sure. I can always use more stuff. Kind of feel bad for those merchants. Uh, I wonder if there's a set number of merchants and if they die, do they respawn? Like, do some new merchants spawn? Or, like, if all the caravan merchants die, am I just out of luck? Centurion. Armor. Very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I hope I didn't get in trouble for hurting this cow. That was definitely my fault. And then there's one over here. And you are what? Assassin. Centurion armor again. Alright. Well, that didn't feel particularly dangerous. I'm so glad you're okay, Eddie. I saw you fall down and I <laughs> I had a mild panic. I did. But you're, you're fine. You know, you held up better than I thought you would. Not that I thought you wouldn't hold up well. I'm just impressed with your skill. He's a really cool guy, you know? Armor, 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 helmet, helmet. Actually, give me back that spacesuit. I might need it. Thanks. Uh, I mean, probably not anytime soon. I just feel protective of it because it's, uh, gosh, she really got messed up, huh? So sad. Feel bad for these guys. It's tragic. Oh well. But yeah, I just want to keep the spacesuit because it's pretty neat. Who knows if we can get another one? We probably can't. I mean, there was just that one sitting over there on that shelf. Makes it feel kind of, kind of special, you know. Anyway, should we go over to Helios One? I don't know. We need to go there right now. Wait, we got one of the parts. What am I actually supposed to be doing next? Let's go back to the come fly with me quest. Oh, I didn't even have to go back to it. Okay. Atomic uh, fuel. So that might be over at the ruins that were mentioned. I guess we can check that place out. I forget what it was exactly. It was just some kind of radioactive thing that decays over time. So they wanted me to get it Fresh. They want a fresh one. One that's been sealed or something. Maybe we'll find one over there. I mean, it's marked on the map. That makes me feel pretty certain that I can find it over there. But if not, maybe we'll go back to Gibson. Maybe she has more stuff. Hi, Helios One. This place is looking neat. That's a lot of... Satellites? Are those... Solar panels? Cool. Okay. 
probably going to get us a whole new mess of stuff to do over here. Haven't finished any of our current objectives. Whoa. Locked. It's locked? They don't want me to come in? So we're not going to get a bunch of new objectives. Let's try the other doors. Stay where you Ooh. This is a restricted area. State your business. Uh, visiting. Friendly visiting. I'm with the NCR. You think I could do that? Well, I mean, I'm not, but I, I mean, I kind of am. I saw this place in the distance and I wanted to investigate it. Yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted to see what was going on, man. Or you're a legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Did you Doing not just see what happened? I, let you through. I don't know because, because if you didn't, you'd be a dweeb. That's right. Let's see. I notice your solar tower isn't collecting much sunlight and I can help. Ooh, let's do that. Heck yeah, I don't want to lie about a brother I don't have. And yeah, right, I don't see this going over very well. What makes you think that the NCR is going to care about public property? I doubt it. Yeah, maybe I can help you. What do you think about that? No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Ooh, an expert. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell, he might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. I want to meet the expert. Have him fill you in on the details. He's in the back of the building. You'll know him when you see him. Keeps his sunglasses on all the time. Even when he's sleeping. <laughs> um, why are you here and not on the front lines? Isn't that more important? I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell. If we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. I see. So this is like a, a mini Hoover Dam situation. Got it? Shouldn't there be more people than this defending? Well, this is the opposite of this. These are like opposite statements, but sure. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. Gotcha. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Got it. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Why was the Brotherhood here? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1 maybe? I like the Brotherhood. They held out as long as they could. Lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. What was that? They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <laughs> Jerk-offs. That's kind of fun. All right. Well, not for you. But anyway, bye. Later. Can I give the plant back to the Brotherhood? Is that an option? Whoa. Oh. I thought... Never mind. Never mind. I'm just getting confused e easily. Trooper. Trooper. Oh, your dog is ugly. Hi, ugly. Can't they get better guard dogs than that? I think they could. Maybe it's supposed to be scary. You know? Then again, you know, if, if we were going to have a, a dog competition between the Legion and the NCR, this is the only area in which the Legion would win, I, I'm afraid to say. I mean, yeah, they've got the freaky hounds that they use, but at least they don't have mange. Radioactive mange. So we're looking for a dude in sunglasses, huh? What's the name of this quest, anyway? Lucky old son. Okay. And it's a guy in sunglasses. That's a little bit frightening, but sure. And he is in what part of the plant? Any part of the plant? I need to be fixing the... The ghoul rockets, I know. But... I just became momentarily interested in this. What is that? Glasses? Yeah. Tinted reading glasses. It's not theft, but it's not like I need them. Let's just keep looking. Oh, this place is kind of big, I guess. I mean, it looked big, so it's not like I'm surprised. I'm just not exactly sure where that guy is. Maybe it would help if I... I don't know. Followed the compass or something. Might be pretty helpful. Oh, look at that. I was going the right way all along. Just absolute navigational skill. What is that? Eyeglasses. I was hoping maybe it was sunglasses so then I could put on sunglasses and then 
he would see me in sunglasses while he's in sunglasses and he would think I was as cool as he is. Who the hell are you? Nobody. They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? Well, I mean, kind of. Why are you worried about being replaced? Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. This guy is basically Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. What job do you do here exactly? What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. That's the sentence I never wanted to hear Shaggy say, but whatever. How did you get this job? It was easy, man. They were going oh, door he's to shaggy. door asking if anyone knew any scientists. <laughs> I said, look no further. Okay. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. Well, that's true. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. Oh, she was. They said, welcome aboard. You bamboozled these guys good, didn't you? Uh, what are you trying to accomplish with this? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. Right. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. That's terrible. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. What's wrong that with that? Has Just some go in crazy the... pre-war security system that the dumb shit ah. NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. I bet we can bypass they want it. They me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. How would someone retarget the mirrors? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? I mean, yeah, I am now. Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Uh, why should it go to the Strip and McCarran? Like, the Vegas Strip? It looks like it already has power. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but the lights are on. So somebody's home. Because I get paid, that's why, per kilowatt hour, whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Oh no. Fantastic's little helper. Oh, There's great. a reputation you can hang your hat on. I don't like that very much, but what do you actually do? Because you're not doing anything. Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Oh my like goodness. one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? I don't know. Sounds pretty boring. So you have no idea what you're doing, basically. No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. Got that it. big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks <laughs> come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. And I'm learning more every day. I love it. Thanks. All right. That was a fantastic explanation. Here. You want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. Oh, you don't say. Is it really, though? I think we have some other notes we should check out, too. Okay. I guess it... Wait, somebody wrote this on the bathroom stall? Whatever, that's fine. Nighttime sniper. Manny Vargas mentioned that there is another sniper named Boone who works in the dinosaur mouth at night and whose wife recently went missing. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. So... <laughs> I like the apple. You're not gonna mind? Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. I like his description of things. The big knob makes a strange noise. Nice. Okay. Well, anyway. Hi, who are you? Ignacio Rivas? It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? I'm somewhere in between, I guess. More of a drifter. I see. Then you must have some special business here for them to have let you through. Yep. We're looking for help getting this place running. Just kind of stumbled in. No, I mean... 
I don't know. He looks shifty, though. I don't really trust him. That's for me. That's for me to know, friend. Interesting. Forgive me for prying, but I'm curious. Are you with a particular group? This guy is 100% a Legion spy. We should kill him on sight. My only true allegiance is to myself. That's a nice... That's a nice way to put it. This is your turf, for all I know. You could have killed me for my allegiance. Who are you with? Yeah, who are you with, friend? Very well, yes. I'm part of the followers of the apocalypse. What is that? If you're not familiar, we seek peace and the spread of knowledge. Knowledge that must never be lost to the world. So it's like the Brotherhood? Now your turn. I just... My only true allegiance is to myself. I don't I don't know what you're on about, Ignacio. Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Probably peace. That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Like what? Take care of what you do here, and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. What does that mean? Stop being cryptic. Tell me more about your group. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Go on. Other things weren't lost but we're blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. I don't, I'm not really following your whole deal. Why are you here then? I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I'm to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they are desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. So why are you even, like, why are you even worried about pre-war technology whenever we have, like, freaking psycho androids that think they're people going around, right? Like, is that not a concern to you, the fact that there's absolutely terrifying android people? Ugh. <sighs> Where are the followers based around here? Yeah, I'd like to meet these guys and see what's up. We're scattered mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside at Old Mormon Fort. Mark it. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan, and a man we train is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside, but that was a while ago. Okay. I'm still trying to get my mind around all these places. We need to go to the caravan. Because Cass told us to go there and look for work. So that's another thing I'm trying to keep in mind that I want to do. But stuff just keeps piling on, guys. <laughs> um, well, the NCR asked me to help increase this place's output. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. Not to a weapon? The is there a weapon? Store output, then you can route the power where you choose. And they'll never be the wiser. There's a weapon here? Hang on. I can't on. get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Oh, nice. Did you get this out of the bathroom, too? Where do you think I should route the power? Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt. But resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. What does the that mean? The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. Why are you trusting me with this? I definitely didn't trust you when I met you. I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Of course they will, they're because psycho. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. I don't know, I kinda wanna know what the weapon is, man. But you're right, it's a bad idea. Do the followers work with the NCR at all? No, because you're just here keeping them in the dark, right? We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing. And prosperity has to be for everyone, not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind. Try to provide some stability. You sound pretty okay. I mean, I guess. You're probably biased because you're part of the group, but... 
that kind of sounds okay. What more is there to this place than a power plant? Yeah, tell me about the weapon, man. I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Okay. So you think it's a weapon they built here, the Archimedes? Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. You're really opening up a to me, man. based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. I kind of want to give it to the Brotherhood. So they knew about Archimedes? They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. I see. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. Well, that's really cool. Does the NCR know? Well, obviously they don't, because you haven't told them. Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. That's awesome. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. Nice. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Nice. Still, it's only a matter of time. I like that you're here trying to sabotage him or whatever. Okay, thank you so much, Ignacio. Goodbye. That's some great information. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I was so skeptical of you at first. You just kind of seem sketchy. Don't take that the wrong way. Anyway, I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. We learned a lot. Like, a lot. And uh, maybe next time we'll help Shaggy. Or rather, um, Ignacio. We'll see. We'll do something. Until then, please take care of yourself. See you again soon. Bye-bye.